So I'm sure by now we've all heard of the term FOMO. Very often stands for the fear of missing out. But today, I'm experiencing FOMO in a different way. I'm experiencing the FOMO of the frustration of missing out. It's funny because I, I didn't even miss out. I just feel like I could have done better. And what that is, is with cryptocurrency. <laughs> so like I said, I made that my first purchase of a Bitcoin back in uh, mid, I think it was mid, um, mid January. And it had gone up and down, up and down, up and down. But I had bought in a couple different places. But I had seen it several times and bought in. Granted, I had bought in it several times at around $30,000. Today, it's at $51,000. And I'm frustrated that I was like, why did I not put more money in? I could have made like 70% of my money in a month. You live and you learn, right? <laughs> But the, I think the important part though is like learning to be grateful for what you did have, the fact that you're even in the game, that I'm even in the game rather than getting frustrated that it could have been more and that as soon as you start thinking like that, then you start making stupid decisions and I don't want to do that. I've learned from my mistakes. More than music. All right, so I am currently as we speak. Hi, Bullet. What do you have in your mouth? What are you chewing on? Bullets. So as we speak, I'm currently chatting with my admins. Shout out, bullet, come on buddy. Shout out to uh, Window Seat here on the channel. Major help, and Namen, in, uh, in major help with these, uh, uh, the chats and stuff. He's helped me doing a, he, he's helped me, that you guys have been helping me set up this whole Discord thing, and it's been a, a ton of fun on Discord. We just made a Bullets Friends chat, so people can send photos of their dogs and, or pets and stuff, um, and it's, it's, been really cool, but it's. I want to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for the all the moderators on the channel who have been helping me a lot. Actually, you guys have done the majority of the, the work on it. So I don't know why New York is all weird, but <laughs> yesterday was 51 degrees outside. Today's 28 degrees outside, and I don't know why. That being said, I am on my way to downtown Northport, the Village, one to see if I can exchange my money. Oh, bullet. And two, to go to the P.O. box and uh, see if anybody sent me anything. Alright, well, uh, going to the bank was kind of a waste of my time because they do ex accept the money, uh, but it has to be taped up. So all the... All the serial numbers have to match up on the, on the ripped up money. They have to be taped up together. So I was like, okay, any chance I could borrow some tape? And she laughed at me. And I was like, okay. So the answer was uh, not at the moment. So, so after she left me, I was like, I was like, I realized, okay, I guess I can't tape it here then. So I guess that was a complete waste of my time. Thank you very much, Bullet. But let's see if anybody sent anything to the, the PO box. That's where we're gonna head right now. Somebody said that they sent me a, uh, a letter, which is really cool. Like that means a ton of a ton to me that they actually wrote a letter. Not only did they write a letter, but they went to the U, the, the the, the post office to send it to me is, is amazing. I can't believe that. Uh, and, but they said it's going to take a month to get here, which is crazy. It's only coming from California. Yo, the USPS is... It thing is all whacked out. It's all out of whack lately, man. I don't know what's going on with it lately. I don't know what happened this morning, but I woke up with the most wild headache. And it has not gone away yet. So, uh, let's see what we got from the USPS. All right, fam, about to go live again and finish and get ready and wrap up. I want to record a couple things. I want to change it up a little bit, but like I'm giving myself like 30 minutes that I want to wrap up and finish TikTok, maybe for me to put it out there to the world. Expecting, I'm, I'm thinking like next week, early next week kind of thing, uh, maybe Tuesday. I want to do some promo for this though. Like, uh, no, I don't know what promo is the right word, but I want to like build hype for it. Like, like people, like people were really excited for, um, uh, we we got it to come out like really excited. So I want to try to figure out how to build that same hype. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. We gotta we gotta figure that out. But alas, let's get this started. All right, just gave a set of lessons for today, and I finally caught up in scheduling my videos. For so now I have everything scheduled, pretty much everything scheduled for tomorrow. So I'm a little bit more ahead, which makes me feel good. Not as stressful as like posting the day of, because uh, when I have to do that, I'm always behind. So feeling a little bit better about that. Uh, as I film tomorrow, it'll give me even more room. Uh, Jamie and I go into Florida though early next month, and so I'm obviously not going to be able to film any reactions or anything during that time. So I want to start storing things up for that week so that I can like really have a good base. 
that I can kind of pull from for that week and kind of schedule and not even have to think about it. TikTok made me famous. Just add it to your favorites. I hang with all the faces and get in all the places. Thanks, TikTok. I blew up overnight, and now the world's my stage. I started small, now I'm living on your for you page. I'm up here in the clouds, can't even see the ground. I hit record, now I'm touring, singing with the crowd. You know I beat the struggle, and now I'm doing fine. I make the haters disappear like TikTok did the vine. You know my hooks are fire, you know my lines are fancy. And people loving what I'm cooking, call me TikTok famous. To your favorites, I hang with all the faces and get in all the places. Thanks to TikTok.